It's prime time. Generation 2 prime time. Yes, G2 Optimus Prime, the big-shouldered boy that we have all grown to know and, well, know at least. I personally really like G2 Prime. I think he's pretty cool. Even though I did pass up the Titans Return version of G2 Prime because it was just a retool of Octane, and it's like I, I bought Octane. I don't really need the same toy, but Optimus Prime flavored. So I figured I'd wait. And uh, I already did have the uh, Reveal the Shield G2 version of Optimus Prime, uh, but when the new Earthrise one, or not this, oh jeez, we're actually on Legacy, jeez. <laughs> I just, I see this and I just think Earthrise, but no, this is Legacy, this is the new line, oh my goodness, we're on Transformers Legacy. When this one was shown, I was like, yeah, I have to get it, but I also know for a fact that when this Legacy Prime comes out in a particular color scheme, that I'm going to have to get that too. But, here we are, old versus new, the old version of a redone G2 Prime and the new version. I don't have an actual G2 Prime. I'd love to get one someday, but these are pretty awesome figures. So, let's just get into it. So you can see one is clearly a deluxe class, and the other is clearly a Voyager-sized figure, even though it's a leader class, because it also comes with this. But yeah, you can see, definitely a big size difference. The Legacy one is 100% going for, like, this is a direct homage to G2 Laser Optimus Prime. This is G2 Optimus. While the Reveal the Shield one had a really interesting spin on it. It had, like, this realistic... Not really realistic, it had like this futuristic, I was meaning to say, this futuristic flair to the design and all these intricate angles and shapes that just really made it stand out and really unique. And it's personally one of my favorite versions of Deluxe Class Optimus Prime. Something about Deluxe Optimuses, I, I really do like them, but these two are just, they're so nice. Honestly, when it comes to this old versus new, we're not trying to figure out a winner because obviously the Legacy one, if you're looking for a modern version of G2 Optimus, Legacy's where it's at. I mean, look at it. It's straight up G2 Optimus Prime. But the old Reveal the Shield one is kind of its own thing, and I really recommend it because it's its own thing. Uh, they're both really fun figures. You can see they both come with their big old swords. Um, we'll talk more about the Legacy one because I've... You know, I've been a little funky about it. But yeah, you can see they both come with the swords. Um, this one has the cab of the truck just on his back. And this one, it's uh, it's done a little differently. It's done a little differently on this one, and I, uh, I definitely appreciate how they do this. Um, it does not have a fake chest. That is actually the, the truck cab right there, so that's really nice. Um, I like the wheels. I love the big old thighs. I love how the thighs have these big old wheels in them. I just, I think that looks so cool. <laughs> I love the angular feet. Man, something about this design, I just, I love it. I love the angular head sculpt, too. Let's get a look at that. Look at the angles on this head sculpt. That just looks so cool. And it's got this transparent plastic for the light piping. It's not only in the eyes, but also bleeds through some other parts of the head. That is just sweet. I love this head sculpt. That is such an awesome Optimus Prime. That is so sweet. And you can see it has a pretty decent window there, so if I grab my weird trusty ball light that I use from time to time, you can see it's uh, it comes through pretty well on the head, but not really the eyes as well. So that's a little unfortunate. But still, it's it's an awesome figure. It's just so nice. Uh, comparing the head sculpt to the Legacy one, you can see the Legacy Prime is pretty nice. It did have one issue, though. You can see the eyes do look kind of dead. Uh, that's after I tried to fix them. Basically, they were clear blue plastic, but there is no light piping on this guy. And his eyes looked absolutely dead. And I can't really take the head apart because there's no visible screw. So I did what I could. I uh, took a light blue Sharpie in there. And you can see it does give it a little bit of a metallic sheen now. He kind of has some eyes, but unfortunately, there's uh, there's not much to see there, just because they just didn't really... They should have painted the eyes. If you're going to have clear plastic eyes, you need to have light piping. If not, just paint the eyes. But still, other than that, a gorgeous head sculpt. Really nice. Very Optimus Prime, for sure. Uh, and you can see the body on this one is just very straight up, you know, G2 Prime. From the waist down, 
it is heavily based on Earthrise Optimus, which is an, a, a stellar figure. So I think that was a very smart move, reusing Earthrise Prime parts. But from the waist up, it's basically all new. Uh, there's not really anything directly shared with Earthrise Prime. It's an all new kind of transformation scheme to get the G2 look. And I really do like that. You really just do get a nice, unique Optimus Prime figure out of this, even though it is based off of Earthrise. Uh, this one's definitely a very nice figure for sure. It's very nice. But still, the aesthetic of this one's a super cool. The articulation on this is really nice too. Get a ball joint at the head. Uh, kind of like a swivel at the shoulder, but then you have like a hinge at that part of the shoulder. Then a bicep swivel, elbow that's kind of weak, unfortunately. You do have this big old arm panel too, unfortunately, but it's not the end of the world. Uh, the hands are on like, they're on ball joints, right? Yeah, they're on ball joints and hinges. So that allows you to get him posed. Some pretty cool like sword wielding poses. You can kind of pose him with the sword over his shoulder a little bit. Unfortunately, the hinge and the ball joint isn't super poseable to the point where you can like have him pointing the sword very dynamically, but you can kind of get it done. That looks pretty cool. Seeing Prime point the sword, that looks pretty sweet. I do have to say, moving the shoulders, uh, it's not as unnatural as you would expect it to look, and we'll talk about that with Legacy, because, uh, yeah, we'll talk about it. But yeah, you know, moving the big old shoulder chunks doesn't look that unnatural. You do have a waist rotation, ball joints at the hips. Those are things we don't really see much nowadays, which is a good thing. But these joints hold up. Thigh swivel, knee bend, which is kind of weak because the wheels start rubbing into each other, but it's not that big of a deal. It is kind of cool, too, how the wheel for transformation, like, goes out. Like, it, it's out. Then you, like, just put it into the thigh. I just think it's so cool when wheels, like, integrate into the body of a transformer. Same for the lower legs. It just looks so cool to me. Uh, the legs... Like I said, you got that kind of weak knee bend. Then the feet are really poseable. You get a hinge, you get a ball joint with a really nice pivot. You get a, uh, like a little, I guess, you know, ankle plate. <laughs> if if you need extra stability, if not, you can just have that folded up a little bit. Yeah, really poseable figure for sure. And a sword accessory is nice too. I love the transparent plastic. Um, I love the little handle there, the arm guard. You can see this weapon does actually have an element of transformation to it. We'll get to that in robot in, uh, vehicle mode. But this one, oh, articulation is really nice on this one uh, too. Ball joint at the head, not super dynamic, but you definitely get stuff. The shoulder pylons, they are hinged, and that is it. Because the articulation, there is also a panel to move out of the way, happens down here. These are just giant shoulder pads. So you have a hinge, in and out, which I mean, you do get the articulation, you do get the posability, but I just feel like it leaves them looking just a little stiff, you know, without a lot of dynamic motion to the shoulders. Just looks a little stiff, you know, I feel like it could use a little bit more. Biceps, you got the elbow, pretty standard. He's got a swivel, actually, I think it's like ball joint, right? It, it functions as a swivel, but it's on a ball joint for transformation, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, because it uh, folds in, they just put it on a ball joint. Waist rotates, legs move all the way up, super nice thigh swivel, pretty deep knee, which is really good. Then you get an ankle pivot, and that's pretty much it. You can also move the toes, which can help in certain poses, but it's not a super necessity. So, um, that's kind of it when it comes to looks and articulation. And this one doesn't really have any features, doesn't really have any, like, gimmicks of sorts. Um, it does have the clear plastic, which looks cool. Um, you know, he's just kind of the figure, you know? He doesn't have a lot going on other than that. But this guy, in robot mode, he's got a lot going on other than that. So he obviously, as you can see, has a matrix of leadership in his chest. Just pull that out. See if I can yank this out a little bit. Come on. There we go. This one's flatter. It's flatter than your uh, normal matrix. So if you feel like that would kind of be useful for a certain pose or picture, yeah, flat matrix, there you go. Put it right back in his chest, leave it there forever so I don't lose it. Um, he does have his weapons, of course. Uh, these ones are actually two weapons uh, because Legacy has been doing this thing where like the, the clear weapons, oh my gosh, get out of his hand. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, that was tight in there. The clear weapons, um, 
they uh, can combine. So you can see that can actually combine together. But this also has like extra holes and tabs on it, so it can combine with other weapons. Um, you can fold it up for storage, which is neat. You can also, I think, have it as like a shield too if you want. Um, you can use like the uh, the slots right there. I think you can like slot it. Yeah, you can slot it into that tab right there and have it as like an underslung shield, which looks kind of bad. <laughs> um, not gonna lie. You can like hinge it, I guess, but it still just doesn't look that good. Can you like? Can't do it like that, but you can do it like this, I guess. That just looks kind of awkward to me. Um, it'd probably look better if you just straight up had him hold it as a shield, you know. Let's try that. Let's just see if we can have him like hold it as a shield. But honestly, I think they look best if it's like combined. Yeah, you can have him hold it as a shield. That actually looks pretty decent. Kind of reminds me of the Mandalorian shields. Yeah, I actually dig that. I dig the look of that. You can have him hold it like a shield. Then you just have his his sword, which is nice. It's a sword. He can hold it. Uh, but he does have one other feature, which is super cool to me. So, he's got those shoulders, right? What if I told you they got missiles in them? Isn't that pretty cool? He's got them missile shoulders. That just looks so cool to me. <laughs> Come on. Optimus Prime with a sword and shield and missile shoulders. Come on. Come on. That's sweet. That is just sweet. Look at that. That's nice. Ah, man, I can't wait to see this mold of Scourge. I can't wait. Does have one other thing. Since it is G2 Prime, he does have his uh, his oil tanker. His, you know, it holds fluids, I guess. In his case, I'm sure it probably holds Energon. Um, yeah, it's a tanker. You know, it's got wheels. It's got some paint. It doesn't have, like, Optimus Prime written on it, <laughs> like some G2 stuff does. Uh, but, yeah, you know, I'm sure they'll do repro labels if you want it to say Optimus Prime. You do have a gun on the top, which is pretty cool. Um, you can actually have this with Optimus if you want him to hold it like a gun. I appreciate that. Cool little addition. But this can transform. Uh, you can move this down, and we'll see this in the truck mode. Basically, this is pretty underwhelming. You just, like, split it open. And it's just, it has tons of pegs for uh, weapons, which is nice. Has a little ramp right there. I don't really think it has any integration with, like, the ramp system they've been, you know, doing for years, which is unfortunate. But you just take this, then you, like, fold this down. Then this also has, like, an arm on it. Then you, like, fold this around, I guess. Then you fold this down, and you have a little turret emplacement. Let's get this moved down. A little turret emplacement. You've got this little arm, I guess. You can move around or something. I don't know. Um, you, you can have Optimus like stand by it. It looks kind of small with him, though. It's just this little turret. It, it, it's more like an auto turret, and it just leaves such a big footprint, too. This is definitely something I'm probably just going to put away in storage. It's just... Like, I'm not going to display him in the, in the truck mode, and this is just... I don't know. It's kind of underwhelming. Uh, <laughs> I, I think they could have done it, done something a little cooler with this, but it is what it is. It's it's a necessity for G2 Prime, in my opinion. This is definitely something that makes the uh, the Legacy one not necessarily better than the uh, here. Actually, I think I think you want to get the uh, ramp in first. Yeah, there we go. So that doesn't fall. Did the gun come off? Yeah, the gun came off. Yeah, I mean, you can sit independently. That's cool. I would definitely, like, you know, it's neat. It's 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 a necessity. It's neat, but it does what it's supposed to do. It's his trailer. There you go. So let's get these guys transformed. Let us transform the Reveal the Shield. Ah, oh, man, it's been a while since I've done this. It's a fun figure, though. This is such a fun figure. So let's get that out. Then, okay, let's do this. So his torso, I know, does something wild, right? Yeah. Yeah, it, like, totally, like, comes up like that. And then the arms just kind of come into position. Man, I forgot how wild this figure was. I'm, I'm just, like, I'm already kind of lost. <laughs> the feet tab in to the leg right there. That folds up. So you definitely get a pretty enclosed-looking... Uh, 
back of the truck and you can move these wheels out. I believe we're going to rotate the waist too, right? That's part of the transformation, right? I probably did this out of order. That's typically how I go. I typically don't do this in order. Oh, I forgot you also have these panels. Got these panels that like flip. What are those for? Do they, oh, I think they just, um, yeah, they keep the wheels in place. That's so cool. Oh, and it's all oh, that like moves up too. Yeah, they all, I forgot they also hinge. Wow. Man, this guy's really neat. There's a lot of engineering in him for a deluxe. You know, you'd never get like hinging wheels like this nowadays. See, I think that's going to be the legs. I don't know if they're right side up quite yet. We'll figure that out when we get there. I'd reckon... I'd reckon I have them in the right position. Man, that wheel's kind of giving me some trouble. There we go. All right. Oh, man, this is such a fun figure. All right, torso time. So, <laughs> how does this work? So, the torso... Does that... I don't know. We'll, we'll figure that out. So the head folds away in a weird way, I remember. You have to do something crazy about the head. Oh, yeah, it's got, like, these panels, too. You, like, flip. Oh, man. Yeah, what do you do with the head? Oh, yeah, you, like, flip that whole panel up <laughs> and flip it in. Then there's the rub sign right there. All right. I want to say the legs... Do they go like this? Hmm. Well, we'll get to that. I feel I don't feel like they should though. I feel like I feel like you would have this rotated, right? Does that make sense? But then again, there's this tab here that kind of blocks that. You can see there's like that tab where I feel like that should. Hmm. Maybe it like hinges straight. Oh, man, that's creaking. <laughs> that's creaking. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know if that hinges anymore. We'll figure it out. We're figuring it out, guys. We're figuring it out. We're getting there. So, the, the arms. I can at least figure this out. That'll go like that. Doesn't like the gas tank kind of like conceal the arm? See, one thing I'm curious about though, why do these hinge so much if they, uh, you know, maybe they do go like that. Maybe this is how this goes. Oh yeah, definitely. Cause it's got that little slot right there. It slots in too. There we go. Man, it's, it's kind of wild how, uh, how odd this guy is with the transformation. It's fun though. There we go, get that. Fold that in. It's pretty simple. If you know what you're doing, it's simple. But see with me, I do feel like a part of the tra a part of a Transformers toy is the puzzle, you know. So I like figuring this out. I think it's pretty boring to just, oh, I got to look at the instructions, you know. You got to figure it out, man. You got to figure it out for yourself. That's what life's all about. You figure it out for yourself. There we go. There we go. We pretty much got him. We pretty much got him. The sword. So this is like the hitch. So that like totally slides and that folds away. Then this will peg into like the leg section. So I'm inclined to say it'll go like this. Yeah, this seems right. See, I peg the sword in between the legs and this finishes the transformation. This keeps the legs more solid together. There we go. There we go. All right. He's pretty much there. He's pretty much there. We're calling it. There's there's Reveal the Shield G2 Optimus in his truck mode. It's kind of a mess. Not going to lie. It's not perfect. Uh, <laughs> it definitely feel like this should tab together a little better. Like, I definitely struggle with the connection with the torso and the legs. A lot of Optimus Primes do. You can see I'm still like fiddling with it, trying to get it to uh, 
to go together. I'm still fiddling with it. We're calling it. There we go. That's pretty much it. We pretty much got it. You can get the gist of it. It's not perfect. <laughs> um, you can see me messing with it, though. I pretty much got the rub sign. It's not perfect. It's definitely fiddly. I feel like the wheels with how they hinge. The legs come apart so easily. Oh, my gosh. The wheels with how they hinge around don't make for the best rolling. It can roll. Like, it is actually rolling, but you can see it's a little messy. Um, definitely struggling with these gas tanks. They don't want to stay in place. <laughs> um, it's, it's, it's a fun figure. It's fun. It's definitely not perfect. Uh, especially in truck mode. Transformation is fiddly. You can see it's, it's not super durable. Just like moving the legs around. The only thing really keeping the hips in place are these little circles that are supposed to go into there, but it's easy to just floop it down. Yeah, it's, it's... It's all right. <laughs> Definitely more fun and unique in robot mode than in vehicle mode. So that's that. Let's get this one transformed. So this one I actually transform a lot because it's just really solid. How this one comes together is just really nice. So weapons. What I actually do with the weapons, I actually just store them in the uh, in the tanker because obviously it's you know you can just tab it somewhere. But what I do. I normally just open it up, kind of slot it, find a spot where it fits, put it in there. There you go. It's hidden. You don't have to worry about it. They're, they're concealed in there. That's usually what I do with his. So, let's get him done. So his hands will go away. Get those hands away. Get those icky hands away. And then, what do we do? What do we do? Head kind of lifts up. Not ready for that yet. Torso lifts up. The shoulders fold back. Get that untabbed. These pieces basically like fold, fold the torso back and those fold. His torso is wild. Basically has this hinge for like the lower part of the torso. And you fold that in. And basically, it'll like feed through and like totally flip around, but we don't have enough clearance quite yet. So we still have to lift this up, flip the head in, and then basically that torso is like totally folded and concealed. The shoulders then hinge above the torso and come together to form the nose of the truck. So that's pretty interesting. I do believe you rotate the waist on this one. Fold in the feet. Hasbro's still not good with concealing Prime's feet, but it's no big deal. We're kind of used to it at this point. Fold these little pieces to secure. Get the gas tanks folded out. Definitely not as annoying on this as the reveal the shield. <laughs> Definitely not. Um, then I think it'll go like this. And then those will tab in. Then get that folded up more. Get the arms in. Come on, arms. I said get the arms in. This is like the, the worst clearance issue on this figure. I just feel like you never have enough clearance for this. And get that tabbed in right there. And then the arms will, uh, you rotate them around. And they'll tab into those panels that I flipped out of the legs to keep the, uh, that'll actually keep the, torso and the legs way more stable on this than the <laughs> reveal the shield for sure so get those connected and then last and not least this always kind of scares me because it's just such a tight hinge fold the cab down clip it in and there we go way more solid way less finicky definitely not just flooping around um looks great too it does have a fake cab window, um, but I do feel like that is kind of more accurate to G2 Prime. Uh, it doesn't have the blue. Um, this one, they definitely took that liberty of adding the blue to it. They also took the liberty of uh, making it kind of droopy. <laughs> Dude, this thing is just... It's so cool, but they just really kind of dropped the ball right at the end there. Like, just get a little more tight, but then the legs just want to come undone again. Oh man, the arms come undone. It's it's not bad, but I uh, gotta ask though, how does it work with the new trailer? 
surprisingly, uh, it does, sort of. Um, you can see the, the sword does leave it a little higher. Um, so it is drooping down ever so slightly. But, yeah, I mean, if you get some photography right, if you'd like to see this prime with the trailer, I mean, you can. But obviously, it's not designed for this figure. It was designed for the new one. Get that tabbed in, and that just that just looks glorious. That is nice looking. That is just really nice. Doesn't I mean it does roll? Like the wheels are turning on most of them. Uh, they're not really turning too well up there, but yeah, I mean it can kind of roll. I would say this is one instance where there is a winner here. I definitely feel like the Legacy is the winner. It is the better figure, but but. The Reveal the Shield 100% has its charm, and it has its place. The truck mode, kind of a mess. The transformation, kind of finicky. I figured it out. It's been a while. <laughs> I figured it out. Um, but it's definitely not as solid. This is just such a solid figure, honestly. Um, I'm really happy, too, because uh, I signed up for a Target red card. And I was like, oh, man, you get the free $40. What am I going to spend that on? Walked into Target, found that Optimus. I'm like... $10 Optimus Prime. Let's go. So yeah, I mean, especially if you can get this guy on a sale for less than leader class price, definitely worth it. Uh, this one too, I, I would recommend this. I definitely would, but keep it in robot mode. Just keep it in robot mode. You don't, you don't need it in the truck mode, especially if you have this one that already has the tanker. So yeah, there we go. Old versus new of G2 slash Laser Prime. Like I said, cannot wait to see this Moldus Scourge. Cannot wait. Look at that. The black, the gray, the teal. Scourge is the coolest iteration of G2 Prime. This is the only Scourge I have. The Spy Changer. I am desperate for a Generation Selects version of this as Scourge. And I just hope it doesn't sell out where I can't get it. Because, oh man, look at that. Even in this tiny form, you can just tell... Scourge is the main man. That's where you want to go. Alrighty, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Special shout out to the patrons of Patreon. Thank you guys so much for the continued support. I genuinely always appreciate it. Alrighty. There we go. Have a great one, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.